The mission of St. Pius X School is to provide a challenging environment for academics and a strong spiritual foundation that enables every student to reach his or her full potential. It's also the only Catholic Montessori school in Maryland. Here to tell us more about this unique learning environment are Jennifer Ripley and Nicole Johnson. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much for being here. So you are the only Montessori Catholic school in the state. Tell me why you guys wanted to be Montessori and what sets it apart. The Archdiocese of Baltimore um, tasked us with opening a primary Montessori program um, about six or seven years ago and so from that we've grown into not only a primary program but also a lower elementary and an upper elementary program um, and so we welcome students into pre-k-3 through a traditional uh, fifth grade age um, for Montessori. Um, and you've been doing this now you said for how long? Six years was that? Six or seven years. Six or I seven think years. It's our eighth year we're going into. Oh, the eighth year yeah. even. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's going fast. It really so is. The Montessori way of learning for people who don't are not familiar with it, describe to us the learning environment. So in the classrooms they are mixed ages. Uh, for primary, the children are three to six years of age. In lower elementary, they're six to nine. And then for our upper elementary, they are at uh, nine to 12. Okay. And in the classrooms, they are working individually on lessons and also in small groups or pairings. Uh, and the, the guide in the classroom is just following the children and their interests and is able to work with them one-on-one -on -one and make sure that they are learning the skills that they need and um, how has it been for the students yeah. and I guess the parents, like what sorts of uh, development have they seen since you made this switch over almost, I guess, eight years ago now? Right. Our first group of students that went through Montessori from the time when they were four years old um, until last year are now in our sixth grade class. And so we're working with them to see um, different ways to approach their learning because they've used materials and not workbooks and worksheets and textbooks for so long. So it's a lot of collaboration in that sixth grade class, uh, a lot of problem solving, critical thinking, approaching a problem from different angles and trying to figure out the best solution mm -hmm. for it. It's so unique, I mean, to have both the Montessori school, uh, but you also, of course, have a strong faith component. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about the religious education there as well? Yes, we use uh, Catechesis of the Good Shepherd, which was developed by a um, woman that knew Dr. Montessori very well. And so the religion piece, the catechesis, goes hand in hand with what the students are doing in their classroom. So it's all materials based. Uh, the students are invited into a relationship with God, um, and there are different um, areas within the classroom for the religious instruction. Really interesting how it's all sort of integrated together, but I also know that you welcome students of all faiths. Yeah. Yes. The Catechesis of the Good Shepherd is really, like I said, developing that relationship with God. Um, and so there are so many different faiths that um, worship God. So it, it's great for all of the different students that come through our doors. And the, the parents really like it because it is a calm and peaceful place for their children to be. And they are learning morals and values um, that transcend boundaries of religions. It's a small school, but I love that because that class size gets to be small, yes. especially as they get older. If people are interested, you've got a couple open houses coming up, right? It's on, I think we got our screen coming up, October 18th two times, 8.30 to 10 a.m., so you can come right in the morning, or if evening is better for you, you can come 6 p.m. to 7.30. What's gonna happen at these open houses? They get to meet the teachers and meet you guys? Yeah. They get to see us in action during the day um, yeah. and meet the teachers, mm -hmm. and then in the evening, the teachers are a little bit more readily available to speak with anyone on a tour. That's wonderful, great. Thank you so much for being here, and we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this, stay tuned.